Toledo community members came together tonight to honor members of the trans and non-binary community who lost their lives to violence this year. Transgender Day of Remembrance started back in 1999, but as our Michael Tater reports, 2021 was actually the most deadly year on record. Dominique Jackson, 50 Bands, Alexis Braxton. At least 46 names. That's the number of people from the trans community who were murdered in the last year. And that's only what researchers could confirm. This is a day we just really honor and celebrate those who are no longer with us because of violence in the trans and non-binary community. Sheena Barnes is executive director of Equality Toledo. She says violence and hate against the trans community continues to rise because there's simply not enough education and acceptance in everyday society. Transphobia is, is something that we don't address because of the taboo-ness of it, um, because we don't educate ourselves on how they are trying to be people who they are. It's okay to be gay nowadays. It's still not okay to be trans. Devon J. Adonis Morales recently moved to Toledo and only recently learned about transitioning. He says he's trying to be more open in the community, but trans people are looked down on, or worse, attacked. It's important for me to remember the people, the pave layers who came before me, who actually didn't make it probably because they were trying to walk this walk. Resident artists from the Toledo Opera sang songs of peace and acceptance. Nikki Orlowski is a trans woman who WTOL profiled during Pride Month this year. She says the everyday stigma against trans people is real, adding there's a shame around even being near someone who identifies as transgender, and that needs to change. I don't get why you can't let people live their lives. We aren't hurting anyone. Mm -hmm. We just want to be ourselves in the best way possible, and we just want to live. They hope one day there won't need to be a day of remembrance. In Toledo, Michael Tater, WTOL 11.